A team of scientists from California have discovered that coral bleaching is now occurring in deeper waters in Australia's Great Barrier Reef. Louise Roca, who is a curator of ichthyology at California's Academy of Sciences, says his team found coral bleaching roughly 150 meters underwater during a recent diving expedition. Roca says even though the bottom layers of the ocean are colder, this proves they are also warming at an alarming rate. The Great Barrier Reef is already the world's largest and best managed marine reserve. But despite its extensive protection, the reef is dying due to rising water temperatures caused by climate change. According to experts, from 2014 to 2017, the Great Barrier Reef lost nearly a third of its coral due to bleaching. It, it would be like uh, maybe if I studied birds and I went to, to the rainforest and I saw the rainforest being taken down. So that, that's something you can't really ignore. And um, um, with the, the, the fish and, and the corals, uh, it, the, the, what allows the fish to survive on that ecosystem is the corals. So the corals are the, the building blocks of a, a coral reef, much like trees are the building blocks of a, a, a forest. By far, the, the GBR Marine Park is the best managed oldest, largest marine reserve in the world by a long shot. And it's, it's literally dying in front of our own eyes because it's something that we can't control locally. Um, so that's, that's really kind of what, when I see it happening in a place like that, it is what stuns me the most. It's that there's, there's very little we can do about it as individuals. I think, I think it's worth investing everything we can in, in keeping corals alive. It can be clipping, it can be gluing, it can be keeping them in an aquarium, it can be trying to come up with corals that are genetically more resistant, because I think we're gonna need it. I think like if, if the bleaching continues the way it is, 50 years from now, so right now we're facing like a big decline in populations, 50 years from now we might be facing extinction.